Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Afi. Thanks for joining me today so that we can learn endodontics together. Today, we are focusing on clinical case involving tooth number 25. The diagnosis is previously initiated therapy with a symptomatic apical periodontitis. Before beginning of the root canal treatment, I usually perform a pre-endodontic restoration to seal any coronal defects or access points left by the previous intervention. One canal is excess, I move on to cleaning and shaping. For this case, I'm using the Denco Pro FlexiFile system, which is provide excellent flexibility and cutting efficiency. I start with the K-file number 10 to establish pattern C, and proceed with the rotary file to achieve desired canal shape. During the process, I'm using the sodium hypochlorite as the primary irrigant for disinfections. To enhance the disinfection process, I activate the irrigant using an ultrasonic device. This step improves the penetration of the irrigant into lateral canals and irregularities within the root canal system. Ultrasonic activations ensure more effective cleaning which is critical for successful endodontic outcomes. After cleaning and shaping, I'm ready for obturations. I'm using a warm vertical compaction technique with the AH Plus sealer. This approach allows me to create dense seal within the root canal system, ensuring the apicals and lateral areas are well sealed. During this process, I apply heat to soften the gutta perca, compacting it vertically to fill the canal completely. This technique is particularly effective in cases with complex anatomy. Once the obturation is complete, I seal the excess cavity with the composite restoration. This step ensures a strong and durable coronal seal to protect the tooth from reinfections and maintain its structural integrity. A proper coronal seal is just as important as the obturation to ensure a long-term success of the endodontic treatment. Here's the post-treatment radiograph. Interestingly, the obturations unintentionally seal the lateral canals, which we can see clearly on the radiograph. This is great examples of how true cleaning and shaping and obturations can address even hidden complexity within the root canal system. Thanks for learning endodontics with me, and I'll see you in the next video.